why you should buy the Tesla Model 3 base for $35,000. I will tell you right after this. Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Thank you for all my supporters and patrons. Um, today I want to do a video in response. I'm going to respond. Uh, in response to a video I saw yesterday or the other day. But this guy, I think, I believe his name is Kevin. And he talked about why you should not buy the uh, Tesla Model 3 base. In other words, it's not a great value because there are so many other uh, Tesla Model 3s with many features that uh, you that give you more value. Well, obviously, everything. Obviously, if you pay more, you get more stuff. You get more value. That is true. But sometimes people have a um, limited budget. Uh, so let me just before I get I make my point. I just go quickly over the <clears throat> the different um, Tesla Model 3 levels. There are several. There are like six of them. So they start with the very base model, the 35,000 with uh, 220 miles. Then it goes to 37,000 for 240 miles. Then to 40,000 for 265 miles. Then they go to um, 47,000 for 310 miles. And that is the all-wheel drive and then to 58,000 for another 310 miles that's the all-wheel drive performance now notice that I that I emphasized the the uh, range the miles uh, and that is uh, uh, the essence of EVs no matter which one it is and I've been driving EVs for three more than three and a half years is really range the bottom of all lines is can I go get from A to B and get back home comfortably with that they need to charge uh on the way because i'm going to a place that there is no uh, opportunity to charge so what i'm saying is this what i'm saying uh, the, the 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 most important the most essential thing is the uh range now after you do that okay so there is technology and there is um uh let's say uh you know um style and aerodynamic and cargo and screen and ergonomics and performance speed and all that is very leather cloth it's all important i'm not saying that it's not important it's very important but the essence the essence of electric cars as a Tesla owner, as a Chevy Volt owner, as a Nissan Leaf previous owner, is range, is range. So let's go back to Tesla, to Tesla Model 3 base that comes with uh, cloth seats, a different kind of uh, center console, it's the open one, and basic radio, whatever that is, and basic maps, whatever that is. At the end of the day, you get a Tesla, Model 3 that looks exactly like the performance one, same style from the outside, same size, same cargo, same everything, for $35,000 before incentives. You still have 37500 federal tax incentive. In certain states like New Jersey, you will not pay sales tax. Uh, in California, you'll get another incentive. In New York, depending on the state, for $35,000, so you can get it down to... I don't know, 30, let's say. I'm being very generous, 30. So for somebody, who, this is their, all the money they have. And even that is a stretch for them. Is that going to make a difference if their car go from 0 to 6 in 5.7 seconds or 4.5 or 3.2? Who the hell cares? Those 0 to, uh, 0 to 60 are meaningless unless you are going to be in a drag race all the time. I mean, once you in a 5.5 seconds is so damn fast. And the key is you get for $35,000 before incentive. You, you will get some incentive, some, depending where you live. You get 220 miles of with the Tesla badge, the Tesla style, the Tesla supercharger network, which nobody has. Nobody. Nobody 
No car manufacturer has the luxury and the convenience and the security of a, a nationwide supercharger. So do I care if I sit on, 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 on a, a cloth seats or on, a, or on leather seats or, or if I have a basic radio or whatever that is, who the hell cares? It's, it's meaningless. It's meaningless. It's not important if your budget only allows that amount of money. You get 220 miles. That is awesome for that price. For that price. Now, there are in that, I mean, uh, Chevy Bolt, which is 248 miles. It's a little, maybe a couple thousand dollars more. And, and there are options. The, the Nissan Leaf just came out to 26. And if they are even a little bit more expensive. But, but the bottom line is what I'm trying to tell you is that to say that you shouldn't buy the, the Tesla Model 3 base because for $2,000 you can get 240 miles and you can get the leather seats, uh, it's, it's nonsense. Now, I'm not saying that it's not important, but if that's all the money you have, you get, you get a great value. Even if you get no option, even if you do not option for autopilot and you do not option for anything, and if you, even if in the, the, the Tesla base will not even give you the opportunity to option certain things, like the interior and all that stuff, you're still getting a great value. If you just buy it as is, with nothing in it, this is it, 35,000 before incentives, you still are getting a tremendous value. So if, if, if Tesla is something you crave and you can make the 35,000 before incentives, I keep saying that, it's a great value. Go and get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great car. And don't forget, I know I sound like a parrot and like a broken record to use cliches. Supercharging is a game changing. I tell you this from personal experience. Supercharging is the most amazing idea ever. Okay, guys, that's it. Let me, let me hear your comments. Let me hear your thoughts. And I think you should, you should go get the Tesla Model 3 base. Absolutely. It's a great, great value. Thank you guys for watching. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. And please support this channel becoming a Patreon and or shop at the Electric Israeli store. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys.